Welcome to ADHD Power Tools, where we give you the tools to unlock the power within. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Today, I want to talk to you guys about dealing with long and arduous tasks. Um, I want to ask you, Brooke, for us with ADHD, completing tasks, is, is, it's, it's a bit difficult sometimes, especially when they're long and they're difficult, you know, tasks. What are some tools you can give our audience and, you know, how to uh, just uh, tackle these tasks? I think this is a loaded question. Um, and the reason why, before going right into the answer, is that arduous for you could be arduous, mm -hmm. not, not arduous for me. Mm -hmm. And arduous mm -hmm. for Julia might not be arduous for me and vice versa. <clears throat> so if a task is arduous and you can delegate that arduous task, mm -hmm. then do it. Why strain yourself? And there's only 24 hours in a day and it's something that you can delegate or hire out to do. Mm -hmm. If it's something that you have to do, like you're a student and you have to study and that's arduous for you, or you have to do a project, those kind of things, of course, you're going to just have to do it. Mm -hmm. So um, some tools and tips for that. First of all, do something that energizes you before you do it. So if mm -hmm. exercising energizes you and gets you more focused and motivated, do that if you can beforehand, maybe dancing, listening to music, that also can help you through a long arduous task if it doesn't distract you. Um, the Pomodoro method, as we've mentioned before, 100%. like breaking it up into small chunks, whether it be 20 minutes, remember optimal focus time is between 10 and 40 minutes. So if you're just sitting trying to hyper-focus on a task, which is a gift for us ADHDers, we're still losing focus after mm -hmm. those 40 minutes. So mm -hmm. trying to take breaks in, at, after your um, optimal focus time. Another thing that I would mention is a uh, body double. So once we start losing interest and steam on something that we aren't really enjoying doing, because again, arduous to me seems like something that you don't enjoy doing, even though it's long, Julia, me, you know, Ali, we all might enjoy other long tasks. Like my kids were playing Oculus the other day. They got a new Christmas gift and they did that forever. And, you know, mm -hmm. I would have thought that that was arduous. I, I thought it was cool, but like not really for that long, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, exactly. I was over it. Mm -hmm. So um, you can body double. So many, um, there's many places out there that you can body double like focusmate.com coaching with Brooke actually has a body doubling group as well but you can ask a friend to just get on a zoom call with you or um, a FaceTime and you both say what you're going to do and then from there you meet yourselves and you do the task so those are my tips and tools and strategies to get through arduous tasks mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and you, you you bring up um a good point. It's like the, the Oculus, you know, the children going crazy. It's arduous and they love it. It's always fun to do something if possible with someone else. Um, a task, some teamwork never hurts doing a long mm -hmm. arduous task with friends and, um, you know, children all playing on it together and have a good time, uh, doing it with someone else. And, uh, uh, the Pomodoro technique is amazing. Taking the breaks because with our ADHD brains, it's like if you fall into hyper focus, lucky you. But sometimes you just can't get into it, and you need to take those breaks and give you give yourself some time, guilty free time. You know what I'm saying? And uh, don't don't you know? Don't beat yourself up about it and turn it into small chunks. That's um that's what I think always works with me. Those you know, turning it into small chunks and prioritizing. I bet you have so many to do's during throughout the day, eating the frog, doing something small and relieving some stress. So you enter that task with a clear mind to, uh, to complete it hundred percent. You know, I'm a student and I have work, I have the internship at different brains and, um, and uh, school and you have to prioritize. I said this earlier, prioritization is key the day before, um, Prioritize what task is longer and more arduous or more difficult and, and take, take it on. Simple as that. Um, 
What, what, are some, what are some ways you use, Julie, or any questions you have? For, well, I definitely for... agree that it's good to just get them out of the way because then it's a huge relief and then you can do the things that you want to do or other things that you have to do. Mm-hmm. Another thing I think would be good is um, if you're good at multitasking, find something you like to do while you do the long, arduous task. For example, um, you know, I've had to, um, I've helped my mom with the garden a little bit, or if I have to do a long assignment for school, I listen to music because I love music. It's, it puts me in a good mood that I'm able to do smooth sailing. Mm -hmm. And also it helps to think of the outcome of what you're doing. For example, say, um, you're like me, you gained a little bit of weight over the semester due to large amounts of stress and, um, you've lost the um, enjoyment of exercise. Well, think to yourself, um, think to yourself the outcomes. Like, well, if I do Mm -hmm. this, I can be more healthy and I will lose the weight. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I know this is good for my body. This is good for my mind. This will put me all in balance. Mm -hmm. So positive self-talk for sure is key. And thinking into the future of if exercise will happen, or if I do all this work, I will get a good grade and all these grades can get me into my desired program. Then Mm -hmm. when I get into my desired program, I can get the job of my dreams. Mm -hmm. I love that. It's like going back to the purpose behind the long arduous task. Mm -hmm. Yeah. uh, Because many times it's so worth it to do the arduous task. It's also getting yourself into that right mentality to do it. A lot of times people have, and for me, especially, the hard thing for me of anything is always starting. I'm an excellent completer, horrible at starting. Cause yeah, that activation piece. And that's what's really good about, you know, doing something energizing beforehand, Julia, or, you know, being in a body doubling uh, group where you're accountable to your partner. Mm-hmm. So all about mindset and thinking about what will become as a result of this. And especially, like, doing something before and that you like is great, but so is being able to do something or keep that good mood while you do that arduous task Mm -hmm. and then Mm -hmm. feel like a million bucks or feel accomplished after you get that done with, and then have Mm -hmm. a little celebration. Mm -hmm. Be proud of the work you did. I love the celebration piece too. giving yourself a pat on the back, um, taking a warm bath, you know, dancing, whatever it is, because once we get through that task, you should honor it. Reward yourself. But we should also make sure we use appropriate celebrations. For example, if you're working out and your goal is to lose weight, don't be like me. Please don't eat a whole bunch of candy and junk food afterwards. <laughs> That'll completely undo your work. Yeah, but cancels it out. Reward yourself properly. <laughs> <laughs>